this is Brian Chamberlain with iTwin, coming to you from the Gadget Live show. I want to introduce you to iTwin, which is a revolutionary USB device. We call it a secure and limitless USB device for remote file access and sharing. The way the product works is you take the paired device, you plug it into any USB equipped PC, could be a Windows machine or a Mac, it's cross-platform. You plug it in and when, that ha when you plug that into that PC, it will actually create a, a secure set of crypto keys that only get shared in the device. It has an optional password. And then once you plug that in, it actually will create a virtual folder on that, com on that computer. In that virtual folder, you can drag and drop select files. You can drag and drop your entire hard drive if you want. You take the remote half with you, or you give it to another person you're sharing with a friend, family member, colleague. You plug it into any other internet connected computer anywhere in the world and it creates a secure uh, link or almost like a cableless cable, an invisible cable between those two computers. So you need both of these keys to open up that link. You can move as much data as you want. It's a hardware device, so you basically plug it in one time, you move as much data as you want. There's no monthly subscription fees, there's no limits like with cloud storage on, on a, you know, the amount of data that you move and so forth. And for, I would say for customers and users and, and people who are in the music industry, for example, uh, a lot of people are using this as a secure way to access and share uh, copyrighted music files. Um, you can move that uh, as a very uh, cost-effective alternative and secure alternative to uh, maybe a, a you send it or a Dropbox or something like that because you have these two keys that open up that pipe. You move that data through you can share it, you can edit it at the other end, uh, you can move it back and you can store it remotely. So another example would be uh, professional photographers. We have some photographers where they may load up their SD card with high def images, they may have a couple gigabytes of images, they put that on their netbook when they're on location, they use their iTwin to put it back to the safety of the office back home, and then they free up their SD card with the peace of mind that all their copyrighted material is back home. So iTwin is basically as I said, it's a, it's a plug and play USB device. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's plug and play, it's drag and drop, so it's quite simple to use. You don't have to have any advanced uh, computer degree to use it. It retails for uh, 89 uh, pounds, and we're offering it here at the Gadget Show for 79. And uh, you can find more information at itwin.com. So what I'm going to show you right now is how a user would actually load up uh, a folder or a file in their local PC. Uh, access it from the road, make some changes to it, and then see those changes reflected back in the original PC so that you can see that you actually are creating that invisible link or that invisible cable. So as you can see, I've got the iTwin local files right here. And this is sort of that shortcut folder I was talking about. Let's say I have a report I want to share when I'm on the road. I'm going to pull this into my remote files, okay? I can now uh, go into it make some changes to it. All right. And we'll save it. Now we come back over to the other computer back at the office. You see the sample it's actually put all the changes I made from that reloc location into my original document. So as you can see, it creates a, a series of shortcuts depending on the number of files that you want to share. You could, you could share your entire hard drive if you want and drag everything into my iTwin folder. Okay. So now if I go back to my computer where I'm on the road, you'll see all of those are available to me. So my pictures, my music, my videos, everything is available to me. So that's, that's where we talk about iTwin being a, a secure, limitless uh, USB drive for remote file access. Again, there's no storage on the device, but you can conceivably uh, access the entire uh, contents of your hard drive or your MyDocs or whatever other things. If you're sharing the if you're sharing iTwin files with another person, you're probably not going to want to share your entire hard drive. 
you probably want to share whatever specific files or folders that that person is going to have access to. But if you're using it for your own use, generally what you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop everything on your hard drive, and that way you don't have to pick and choose what you want from the road. Yes, yeah, good point. So uh, the actual product is, uh, it has hardware encrypted uh, security. It has an optional password in it. So it has something they call two-factor authentication. The password actually sits on the, on the iTwin itself. It does not sit on your computer. So you can't have any of these kind of man-in-the-middle attacks where somebody was actually going in and uh, you know, trying to run our, an algorithm to try and figure out what your password is because it actually sits on the hardware. And then we've got, a, we've got a third really cool capability built into the product called a remote disable code. So when you first plug in your iTwin, in the event that, the unlikely event that you lost the remote half, you basically, that code gets generated and emailed to you every time you plug in the paired device. You just email that code to uh, helpdesk at itwin.com and we'll break the link. So it kind of works like a, almost like a, uh, a kill switch on your autom automobile ignition if somebody were to break into your car. It'll temporarily disable that link so that nobody can access your computer.